I want us to go to God's word this morning. I'll be very brief. And I want to build on the foundation that Pastor Julius laid this morning and what my wife is building on right now. And the theme of my message is I am or you are unmeasurable. Na mada yangu ni kwamba wewe hauwezi pimika. You are unstoppable. Na hauwezi zuilika. Hallelujah. Amen. You are uncontainable. Ya kwamba hauwezi finyiliwa mahali. Now those words mean almost the same thing. Maneno hayo yanamanisha kitu kitu ambacho kinafanana. It's like Paul would write to the Colossians church and you tell them. Ya kwamba Paulo angemwandikia kwa Colossae akiwaambia the power that works in us. Ya kwamba nguvu zifanyazo ndani yetu. And you try to get words to, to you know to describe that uh, that power he couldn't get it. Ana alikuwa anatafuta maneno ya kuelezea kuhusu nguvu hiyo lakini hangepata. And the song this morning reminded us that we are a chosen generation. Na wimbo asubuhi ya leo ikatukumbusha kwamba sisi ni taifa kizazi teule. We have been called to show the excellency of the God who called us. Ya kwamba tumeitwa ili tuonyeshe utaratibu ama uendelevu wa Mungu aliyetuchagua. And all that we need in life God has given us. Na chochote tuhitajicho katika maisha Mungu ametupatia. So we are who God says we are. Kwa hivyo sisi ni yule wale ambao Mungu amesema tuko. And not what men say we are. Na sio kile binadamu anasema sisi. You may not feel it. Unaweza kukosa kuihisi. You may not see it. Unaweza kosa kuona. But the fact that you don't see it, you don't feel it does not mean it is not so. Ya kwamba hata kama hauoni ama haushiki, inamaanisha kwamba haiko vile. Pastor Julius today this morning, Chungaji Julius akatufunza asubuhi ya leo. A deflated ball, ya kwamba mpira ambao huna pumzi, can be inflated to be a ball that can be played. Ya kwamba inaweza wekwa pumzi na ikawa na ikaweza kuchezwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the scriptures, the book of Zechariah chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 Zechariah moja mbili hadi tano Zechariah chapter 2 1 to 5 Aha Zechariah mbili moja hadi tano tutasoma kwa kizungu The Bible says then I raise my eyes Can you read and then Ah uh, Zechariah chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 All right okay thank you thank you The Bible says then I raised my eyes and looked and behold a man with a measuring line in his head now get that it says a man with a measuring line not god but a man with a measuring line in his head mtu akiwa na kipimo katika mkono wake verse 2 I so I said where are you going and he said to me I am going to measure Jerusalem to see what is in its width and what is in its length. And there was the angel who talked with me going out another angel was coming out to meet him. Verse 4 and he said to me run speak to this young man tell him Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls because of the multitude of men and livestock in it aha uh -huh. for, for, for i say uh, um, a man anasema asema bwana um samahani um tuweke unaweza tutafutia Kiswahili tafadhali that's okay the, the, you interpret as we go on okay tuta, tutaweza ku uh, kutafsiri tukiendelea now I want you to understand this morning. Nataka tuelewe asubuhi ya leo. You are a champion. Wewe aha, wewe ni mtu wa kushinda, ushindi. Tell somebody I'm a champion. Wewe ni mshindi, mwambie mtu. You are a conqueror. Wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi. You are a winner. Wewe ni mshindi. You are a trail blazer. Wewe ni mtu wa kuonyesha ushindi. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we have this concept of hustlers. 
Jua kwamba tuko na ile idea ile jambo la hasala. But I come to demystify the word hasala. Na nimekuja kuweza kuongea kuhusu jambo hilo la hasala. And say you are not a hasala. Na nisema ya kwamba wewe si hasala. Hasala is a present is a present sent is a present circumstance. Hasala ni hali ambayo iko sasa. But I come to prophesy. You are not a hustler. You are a child of the Almighty God. You are a champion. The fact that you are hustling today is not your destiny. Can someone give a praise to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says this man came running. And he was coming to give himself an assignment. And he was trying to measure Jerusalem. Now those who know Jerusalem, it is the city of God. It is a heritage of God's people. And he came running to measure this city of the Lord. I submit to you this morning, this afternoon, there are people who have taken upon themselves to measure you. They measure you. The way you talk. Where you come from. The tribe you come from. Your accent. The way you dress. The car you drive. The apartment you live. But I'm here to let you know in the name of Jesus. That is not your destiny. That is not your name. Your name is a shout of God. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. You know many times mwingi, we allow to be people's opinion. For a long time I would always ask people what is your name? Where do you come from? Which tribe are you from? What do you do? Until I came to this revelation. Every time I ask those questions. It helps me to measure who you are. Are we together church? And I came to realize. It is okay to know my name. But my name does, does not define where I'm heading to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This man comes to measure Jerusalem. And, and Zechariah asked this man, where are you going? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is important to ask people when they come to you. Who are you? Who have sent you? Where are you going? Because it is important to refuse to be people's opinion. And many people have been limited by the definition of other people. The way they say about you. Even to the point of allowing to be to be benchmarked by academic I mean qualification. I come to testify this morning. That is not my portion. I may not have passed from four. I may not have passed from six. I may not have gone to the university. But I am a child of the Almighty God. Glory be to God. And I'm not trying to say that is bad. It is important to advance yourself. It is important to improve yourself. It is important to grow. It is important to have a desire and to have an ambition. But above all that, the bottom line, are you a child of God? Is Jesus your personal savior? Hallelujah. 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 So this man comes and runs to measure Jerusalem. And a nature of the Lord, the second who comes. And he speaks to Zechariah. And he tells him. Run. 
tell that young man Jerusalem will be a city without wars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has sent me to, to, to this morning to you to let you know you are not a product of yesterday. You don't belong to yesterday. You have no control of yesterday. You are a product of destiny. And you need to keep talking to yourself all the time. I am a child of God. I am a champion. I am a winner. I may not feel like it. But there is, there is winning in me. There is greatness in me. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Tell that young man. Jerusalem will be a set without wars. You are a father of fathers. Your children will be called great. Your future will be greater than yesterday. Your destiny will be greater than yesterday. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Julius stood up this morning. Seasons do not last. You may be going through the winter of your life. You may be going through a hard time. But don't let that season define your future. Because seasons don't last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why am I passionate about this? Because I am a product of my faith. What you see here today was not a man who was brought up in the best of scenarios. I told you the other day when I was here I was bright in school. Right. Oh, nilikuwa naelewa shuleni, nilikuwa mwerefu. I didn't go to Nairobi University. Sikwenda chuo kikuu cha Nairobi. I didn't go to any universities here. Sikwenda kwa university yoyote hapa ama chuo kikuu. But I went to visit people in the university. Lakini nilikuwa naenda kuwatembelea watu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I went to visit my friends. Nilikuwa naenda kuwatembelea. I went to visit my wife when she was in the university. Kwa naenda kumtembelea mke wangu akiwa university pale. Amen. Amen. But I had this conviction upon conviction that God is able he has the power to bring the desires of my heart into fulfillment. And so I read a book by uh, Dr. Shaw. Fourth Dimension. And that book uh, you know helped me a lot. He said you got you got to believe in yourself. He said you got to be specific to God. And I wrote the, some of the things that I wanted from that book. And I put them on, on, the, on the head of my bed. And every morning I would come and lay my hands on, on those things. I say, God, you are God of promises. You are God who answers prayer. Five things I prayed when I was young. And God started answering them one after the other such that today everything that I wrote that time God in his own wisdom and love he has answered them hallelujah one of the desires is that God you give me a godly wife who had gone to the university although I did not go there that time Another prayer that God will help me to go to a university. God made a shortcut 
that I got to the best university. Mungu akatengeneza njia na nikaenda kwa chuo kikuu kizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. What am I saying? Nasema nini? What may look impossible with man? Kinachoka ngumu na binadamu. It is possible with God. Kinawezekana na Mungu. And brother Julius stood up this morning. Na mdungu Julius akatuambia. Praying is important. Maombi ni sawa ni ya maana. But favor is more important than prayers. Oh, lakini kibali because when the grace of God is upon your life and there is favor upon you he will pull you from the back and bring you in front he will pull you from being an orphan girl and make you the queen he will pull you from being a shepherd and make you the king he will pull you from being a coward like Gideon and make you to be a man of valor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the God we serve. A God who answers prayer. A God who inflates a ball that has no air. And that ball becomes a ball to be played. Don't allow people to measure you. By where you live. By who you are today. Tell them you have not seen the best of me. You do not even know where I'm going. I have a covenant with God. I know my Redeemer River. I may be struggling today, but I'm about to run. Because when God is on my side, who can be against us? I may be a hustler by the divination of politicians, but tomorrow I will be an employer. Tomorrow I will be a landlord. Tomorrow I will be an employer. Hallelujah. Because God is not a respectable person. Our God has no slumber. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The God of Bishop is my God. The God of Jeremiah is my God. He can use you. He will use you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't measure Jerusalem. Jerusalem to God was precious. Jerusalem to God was his holy city. You are fearfully and wonderfully created. We call it the image of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we should not allow people's opinion to silence us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody who comes to inquire about your past. Let them know. Your future is more important than your past. Parents, let me help you. Don't judge your children by the struggles they are going through today. Look at them prophetically. Call greatness. Declare who they will be. In the name of Jesus. My son who is here today. He was struggling at one time. My wife told me. That is not him. He will be a better man. Thank God today is a minister of the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you together church? Don't let nobody define you. Because you are unmeasurable. Tell the person next to you, I am unmeasurable. I am unstoppable. I am uncontainable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Sometimes we look down at ourselves. Wakati mwingine tunajitazama kwa kipimo cha chini. And we look where we come from. Tazama tutokako. 
And I can tell you it's not easy. Si raisi. I don't know whether I said on this pupil one time bishop. Just like you know when we were when we were growing up. I came from a very poor background. Like most of you. Familia ya umaskini sana kama wengine wenu. You could touch poverty. Yaani ungaliguza umaskini. You can smell it. Unanusa. The rats were competing were competing rats were competing with the crabs that were falling. Ya kwamba panya walikuwa wanangangana na mabaki iliyokuwa inaanguka. I remember one time I woke up in the morning. Wakati mmoja naliamka. The whole of my soul, both legs had been eaten completely at night. Aha, kwato zangu zikawa usiku zimetafunwa. I couldn't even feel. Hata singehisi. I didn't know that that drugs use a cord. Sikujua kwamba panya wako na njia yao that you can't even feel. Ya kwamba hawezi hata hisi. So I woke up all the soles of my legs completely gone. Nyayo zangu za miguu zikiwa zimetoka. It was in July. Ilikuwa uh, mwezi wa saba. It was raining. Ilikuwa inanyesha. I couldn't get out. Singetoka nje. My father had to look some banana leaves to walk on them. Baba yangu akanitafutia ndizi, yani aha, uh, ile mkoba wa ndizi ili nitembee. Poverty upon poverty. Yani umaskini juu ya umaskini. But there was a dream in me. Lakini palikuwa kona ndoto ndani yangu. That kept on telling me. Ya kwamba ilikuwa inaniambia don't give up. Usikufe moyo. Don't give up. Usikufe moyo. I'd go to grace my father's little goats. Aha, nikawa nikaenda nikienda kuchunga ambuzi za babangu. And I would speak to the planes as they were flying through that place. Aha, na nikawa, pardon. Speak to the planes, airplanes. Oh, nikawa ninaongea ku na zile ndege zinazopita juu. And I'll tell them. One day. Aha, siku moja. You will take me to America. Nitanipeleka Amerikani. I had no clue what I was talking about. Sikujua ninasema nini. I didn't even know where America was. Sikujua Amerikani iko wapi. But there was a dream in me. Lakini pakawa na There was a well of hope in me. Pakawa na tumaini ndani yangu. And thank God today. Shukuru leo. My dream came to pass. Ndoto yangu ilifikia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My children don't have to be eaten by rats. Watoto wangu hawawezi hata hawawezi kuumwa na wale panya. Amen. Amen. Today you may come from a very poor background and I feel there are people here who look at themselves and they say we shall amount to nothing. Pengine umetoka katika mahali ambapo ni maskini na unajiangalia unasema sisi hatuwezi fikia lolote. When you look at your backgrounds. Kiangalia mahali utokako. When you look what is facing you. Ukiangalia kile kinachokutasa kinakuangalia. Like there is no hope in future. Kuna kaa hakuna tumaini maishani. God has sent me to be a testimony to you. Nimekuja ili niwe ushuhuda kwako. There is hope in God. Bana tumaini kwa Mungu. Don't accept the present circumstances. Usikubali hali iliyoko kwa sasa. To blur your hope. Ikafiche tumaini yako. To destroy your hope. Ikaweze kuharibu tumaini yako. Speak to your situations. Nenea hali yako. Call those things that are not to be in the name of Jesus. Ikafitu vile ambavyo havipasi ambavyo havikai kuwa vichi. Call your hopes. Ukaite tumaini yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is hope in God. Pana tumaini kwa Mungu. Are we together church? Je, tuko pamoja? So don't allow people to measure you. Usikubali watu wakupime. You are not a product of people's opinion. Wewe sio uh, ile ambacho watu wanaona ama mtazamo wa watu. Even Jesus they try to measure him. Hata Yesu alijaribu kumpima. They said this is the son of the carpenter Joseph. Wakasema huyu tu ni mwana wa yule mtengeza mtu. Not Yusuf. until he was 12 years old. Hadi akawa miaka 12. When he started reading for them the scriptures. Alipoanza alipoanza kuwasomea maandiko. They started realizing there is something special about this boy. Wakaanza kuna kuona kuna kitu tofauti na huyu kijana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They may not you may not have been revealed to you be to be tomorrow. But God is about to manifest you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together church? Je, tuko pamoja kanisa. I want us to go very quickly because of time. Kwa sababu ya muda tutaenda kwa haraka. In the book of uh, the, the book of Acts. Ah, kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. 
chapter 28 verses 1 to 6 the bible says once safely on the shore now when they had escaped they found themselves at the island called Mata and the natives showed us unusual kindness for they kindled a fire and made us a welcome because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold but when Paul had gathered a bud of sticks and laid them on the fire a viper came out because of the heat and fastened itself on his head so when the natives saw the creature hanging from its head they said to another no doubt this man is a murderer remember Paul was a murderer am I right when his name was Saul so they are still reminding him Paul you're telling us you are a man of God no wonder you are a murderer whom thou he has escaped the sea yet justice does not allow him to live but he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm Hallelujah. however they were expecting that you'd swell up or suddenly fall down dead but after they had looked for a long time say a long time they saw no harm came to him and they changed their minds and said he was god amen amen there are people who will look at your past and we don't we cannot ignore history yes it was this and this yes he was a murderer yes he was a thief yes he was a prostitute yes he was a servant but the bible says but when but Paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill because when people were expecting him to die God was with him they waited for a long time and nothing happened to Paul this morning I don't know what people have seen in your past we are not denying what may have happened but I'm here to let you know your past have no control tomorrow they will look and wait they may not celebrate you but your celebration is coming to pass they may not acknowledge you but your day of acknowledgement is about to come to pass you may not have a name but it's just a matter of time before your name is established because the God we serve is a good God is a good God don't let nobody measure you there is so much potential in you kuna that people may not see today you are a walking power wewe ni nguvu inayotembea a walking miracle wewe ni mujiza inayotembea you are living at a viva that you may not discover unaishi chini ya kibali ambacho unaweza kosa kuwa kutambua the biggest problem is not being able to know our identity shida kubwa si kwa si kutojua utambulisho wetu when you know who you are wakati utajua wewe ni nani and you know what god says about you who created you na unapojua mungu aliyekumba anasema ni everything else is secondary and we need to walk with our shoulders high without making apologies 
kuweza kuomba msamaha not in pride asio kwa kiburi in humility tukiwa tukiwa na unyenyekevu and understand tukiwa tunaelewa who has the final say ni nani aliye na jambo la mwisho god has the final say mungu uko na usemi wa mwisho god has the final say usemi wa mwisho uko na mungu not your parents sio mzazi not your friends sio rafiki not even your government hata sio serikali yako who has the final say ni nani yako na usemi wa mwisho god has the final say mungu ana usemi wa mwisho hallelujah hallelujah Give the Lord a clap this morning. He has the final say. And does not matter the gender. It does not matter who you are or where you are. You can connect with that faith I'm talking about this morning. And know this. One day. You'll be celebrated. One day. Those places you carry you. One day. You will be a house girl. That door shall be open. One day. You will be a singer. One day. That business you look for you. In the name of Jesus. One day. Like Martin Luther said. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Keep your dreams alive. Don't let your dreams die. Don't let your dreams die. Because God is alive. And is not a respect of persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your bishop tells you that he was a pilot. Askofu akikwambia kwamba alikuwa piloti. When he was driving those pilot matatus. Akiwa anaendesha zile gari za matatu. For in, to, in to South Sea. Ah, alikuwa anaizipeleka pale South Sea. Who would have ever imagined? Ni nani angedhania? That will be a father to many of us. Can't we say look what the Lord has done? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all of us have a testimony. When Pastor Alice was eating the fruits in city, city market. <laughs> Working as a humble secretary in Kenya Power. Who would have imagined who she would be today? A mother not only to Mugai and Elizabeth but a mother of generations. Sio mama tu wa Mungai na Elizabeth bali mama wa watu wengi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you brothers and sisters. Kwambieni ndugu na dada. God has no speciality. Mungu habagui. God has no speciality. He can do what he has done to others. The only thing is don't be grudge, don't, don't be envious, don't be jealous. When others have been blessed, let us celebrate them. Because you are next in the line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be grudges. Don't be envious of grudges. Because you are next in the line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a miracle working God. When I look at my life. That's why I can't help giving back to the community. Because I have the revelation that what I have kwa sababu niko na ufunuo kwamba mimi nilivyo belongs to God Almighty. Ni ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. And may God bring us to that revelation. Wacha Mungu atuweke katika ufunuo kama ule. That will not be measured. Ya kwamba hatutapimika. Don't let Zimmerman measure you. Wacha Zimmerman isikupime. It is a great place. Ni mahali pazuri. But if you are ever thinking of a different place. Lakini kama unawazia mahali God will give it to you. Mungu atakupatia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. As I pray this morning. Ninapoomba asubuhi ya leo. You could be there this morning. Unaweza kuwa pale asubuhi ya leo. Or this afternoon. Ama adhuhuri ya leo. But for a long time you have been measured. 
sana they have said you amount to nothing they have said look you've been a drunkard you have wasted opportunities God is a God of second chance hallelujah he is our second chance our children are coming back I'm saying they are coming back uh, they are coming back not only coming back to our homes but to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus every eye closed right now as you listen to the Holy Ghost what he is speaking to you right now I don't know your journey but God knows your journey I don't know your fears but God understands them I don't know the tears you cried yesterday because you felt rejected somebody rejected you yesterday somebody threw you out you feel you are broke I am here to declare as a prophet of God you are coming out with a song you are coming out stronger because the God that we serve is a covenant keeping God in the name of Jesus you are there this, morning, this afternoon and this message is yours as it is mine you can lift up your head as we agree together one can choose a thousand one can choose a thousand two can choose ten thousand we can agree together and say no more no more being counted no more being measured no more being limited no more being defined by circumstances I am rising over in the name of Jesus if you are here this morning be courageous start on your feet as you tell the devil bye 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 I am going to a new zone in the name of Jesus start on your feet wherever you are if you believe this is your message in the name of Jesus Father we thank you Holy Spirit we thank you you are in control of your life of our lives your words see this morning as a mother as a mother who, who is sucking a child though she may forget about her child you will never forget us your word tells us this morning you have written us in the palms of your heads we are a special generation a peculiar people called to show the praises of the one who called us in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost I pray this morning see the desires of these men and women hear their prayers oh God see the knocking they have been knocking at the door see their position right now the tears they have cried in their homes the many times they have spent their lives at this altar praying that you may remember them Lord may the day of remembrance be today for you all say that today is the day of salvation may you come oh God in the cloud of mercy in the cloud of power and show yourself faithful I pray oh God the day of being measured it is over because they are the new Jerusalem the Jerusalem of hope the Jerusalem of tomorrow the heritage of God in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you this morning thank you because of their children thank you because of their business oh God they are managers mighty God I pray that you put your stamp over them they will be victorious they will be winners they will be champions they will be they will be, like, they will be true, true oppressors for the glory of God in the name of Jesus Father we thank you if you are here this morning you do not know Jesus this favor this favor starts by 
accepting Jesus. For me, it started when I knew Jesus. The day I gave my life to the Lord, although there were a few obstacles, I mean, there were a few challenges, God gave me a hope. And because of that hope, I never lost the hope of tomorrow. You are here in this church. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you are doing today, maybe you are doing a very difficult job. Maybe you are a house girl. God loves those things that are not. Oh, God loves those things that are not. To manifest his greatness in them. You don't know Jesus. Yes, and you know you want to know him right now. I will ask whoever you are. Put up your hand. That you may receive you. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else? God bless you. Anybody else in this church? Up on the, uh, uh, the staircase. Lift up your head. You will see it. That you may receive. That Jesus may receive you. And start transforming your life. In the name of Jesus. Anybody else? I just help me. If you see somebody spin up their heads. Help us to celebrate them. Anybody else? Put up your heart. Don't be shy. This is the biggest discovery you can have. In the name of Jesus. Come on, my sister here. Anybody else who can come from there? From, from, from wherever you are, come over. There is a lot of rejoicing right now in heaven. As, you, as, we, as, as these souls give their lives to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Anybody else? Let us rejoice with you. Let us rejoice with you. As you come to give your life to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God fight your battles. May the Lord establish you. May God open doors that have been closed. May God lift you to a place of exposure. May God advertise you. May God speak for you. May God cause you to be celebrated. In the name of Jesus. May he give you a new face. May he give you a new face because he loves you in Jesus mighty name God bless you